Howdy, um, I'm Will. I'm Austin. I'm Landon. And we decided to make a supersonic uh, underwater torpedo. Uh, so our needs are that the US military needs to maintain naval superiority to remain relevant in the world's military landscape. And until now, submarine weaponry has traveled at subsonic speed, making it detectable by sonar. Um, and our supersonic incendiary weapon will go underwater to provide the U.S. a weapon that cannot be t detected. And yeah, it cannot be detected. So yeah. All right. So here are the design characteristics. Here's a very accurate um, model representation of our supersonic torpedo. Um, in order to travel faster than the speed of sound in water, it's going to need a superheated tip to vaporize the water in front of it. That's going to reduce the drag as it travels. Um, then we're going to have a basically an explosive section behind the tip that obviously detonates when it reaches the target. Um, and then an elliptical shape to minimize wave drag from the shock waves since we're traveling faster than the speed of sound. And then we'll also need some kind of rocket propulsion system that functions underwater to reach the necessary speeds for supersonic travel, which is like over 3,000 miles an hour. So, pretty fast. Um, yeah, so the functions of this, um, the supersonic torpedo will be traveling faster than the speed of sound underwater, which is more than double the speed of sound in the air. Um, and because of this, um, it makes it impossible for our sonar to detect the torpedoes, because how sonar works, um, it sends out um, sound waves and then it hits off an object and comes back uh, to the, like the ship or submarine um, and lets them know what's in the water around them. Um, so if you have a torpedo that goes faster than the speed of uh, the sound waves, it will reach the boat before the sound waves will. Um, so since um, like it won't be detectable, it will very get, like, give a huge upper hand to whoever um, has this weapon. So the impacts considered and addressed. Um, so one issue is that torpedoes could uh, detonate prematurely and endanger whoever is firing it. Um, but we are going to incorporate a safety and GPS system that arms the torpedoes only as it approaches the target. So when you fire it, it doesn't go off. Um, uh, also, a, since we're using a rocket propulsion system, uh, Rocket propulsion is by its nature explosive, so any misfire in that system could trigger the payload as it's launched. So we're gonna use a propeller system to steer the torpedo away from the ship before separating and triggering the ignition of the rocket. Um, and then the obvious effects of such advanced technology could lead the US to be complacent in their naval superiority, allowing other countries to make their own developments. So the US needs to continue to strive for more advanced weaponry and tactics. Yeah, that's our question.